Hey guys, so today we are doing a tutorial on how to upgrade the firmware on your Miu Mini Plus. So usually this is a prerequisite step that we need to do if we're installing any new custom operating system such as Onion OS and you want to make sure that your firmware is up to date. This is kind of a, a lower level step, an initial foundational step we need to do uh, before we get into the more exciting stuff. So there's only four steps here. We're going to download all the required files format a micro SD card with Rufus and then place the files onto the micro SD card and then finally load the firmware itself onto the handheld. Now make sure you follow all these steps because it's important that you get the SD card in the right format and um, it should be pretty easy and pretty straightforward apart from that. So let's start with step one and we'll open our browser and firstly download Rufus which is available at this website. So you just need to scroll down to this option here and then download the standard version. So why Rufus is special is because that in Windows we normally can't format large SD cards with FAT32. However, Rufus lets us do that. Uh, so a large SD card will be something bigger than 32 gigabytes. So if you only have like 64 gigabyte SD cards lying around, uh, you'll be able to do this and upgrade your firmware easily with, with Rufus. So we'll download Rufus and then next up we will go to the Miu Mini official website. Uh, if it's in Chinese, don't worry because uh, there's an English link here. You can select that to change to the English version of the website. And then we'll select firmware download, which is the third link from the, the left. And then just scroll down. So in this list, they will have uh, some firmware. So I'm looking at the second one here, Mio Mini Plus 0505 firmware. So today that's the latest one, May the 5th. And then let's also download that file. So when I have both of those files downloaded, I can run Rufus and it's going to just uh, trigger the user account control in Windows and I'll say yes run Rufus and then it's going to bring up this window. Now you can leave most of this at default. Um, what I like to do is just double check that you're formatting the right drive because um, at this point we're going to destroy all of the data on that micro SD card that we're using. Um, so just make sure that you have the right micro SD card inserted into your card reader and uh, you're not deleting anything that you need so make sure you uh, you're okay with destroying all of the data on this micro SD card so as you can see I'm using a 64 gigabyte one and I will also select on boot selection non bootable and make sure the partition screen is NBR and then as I go down here it's into the format options I'm just going to put the volume label up at, to MU mini plus let's see if that fits um, just to whenever I uh, whenever I format something I just like to label it so I know what uh, what drive I'm looking at and then another important thing is just to make sure the file system is large fat 32 for those uh, reasons that I gave before and then in the advanced section so you can press this drop down uh, and then you can just uncheck this create a, a extended label and icon files because there's some extra files that we actually don't need so when you're ready and you're sure that you're going to, uh, you're sure with this micro SD card that you're okay with uh, deleting everything on it, we're going to press the start button down here. It's going to give you another question, another warning, just to say uh, this micro SD card is going to be destroyed. Let's press OK. It will format everything on there. And then that's done. So we're done with Rufus. And then let's take our firmware files and just extract everything and show the show the files okay so I have the firmware files here so there's a, a text file and then there's a IMG file and then I'm going to copy uh, the firmware and then just paste it into my micro SD card and then that's the files all ready to do the firmware upgrade now let's just look at the instructions quickly that were given with the IMG file and it's just going to say you have you should have the uh, Miu Mini shut down and then plug the SD card in and then also plug the uh, USB charging cable and then the rocket will appear so the system upgrade rocket will appear and then obviously it says uh, do not remove your charging cable while the upgrade is uh, is being done so it's, it should be pretty simple from now on so let's switch over and watch how you do the upgrade Okay, so here I have my Mio Mini Plus. It's powered off at the moment. So I'm just going to get my SD card as well and then plug that one in. 
So make sure everything is off at this stage, obviously when you're messing around with the SD card. And then I will get my USB cable with the power ready. And then all I need to do is plug that in and it will automatically turn on the Miu Mini Plus console. So you'll see the system upgrade rocket appear on the screen. And basically you just need to sit tight on the screen for around two and a half minutes. Um, they didn't implement a progress bar, which is a little bit annoying, but um, at least they, they show a screen and tell you, uh, yeah, don't, don't uh, unplug your power basically. Um, so at this point, I'll just fast forward the video until the next stage. So the screen goes blank and then reboots itself. Um, so that's the next thing you'll see in a moment. So once you see the charging icon on the screen with the big green battery, that means the firmware has successfully updated. And uh, what we can do actually is just unplug the Miu Mini from the charging cable and reboot it manually. Okay, so our Miu Mini has just rebooted and come back into the normal menu. I'm just going to go over to the settings and check the device info. And then in this menu, what we can do is we could just track back our version number and just see if that version number is the same one as the one that we downloaded earlier. And as you can see, it's all good. So at this point, our firmware upgrade is all complete. So that's a quick guide on how to upgrade your firmware and I'll see you guys in the next video.